going on YouTube, it's Gax Boy, and this is a first look video at the Windows Phone 8X uh, with a collaboration uh, with HTC, so HTC makes the uh, hardware. Now, I've already opened this box up just to check out what it's about and that kind of stuff, so I'll quickly show you what you get inside your packaging, apart from the fact that this is a beat audio handset as well, so you do get a uh, beat audio system in the handset itself. So you've got all your regular packaging information like uh, the manual booklet, uh, warranty information and how to get up and running quick start guide uh, for the answer itself. Uh, inside there as well you get your charger package with headphones as well. If I just open this up so you see what the headphone uh, looks like. Let's get that open. So you get this regular HTC headphones uh, in the packaging rather than an HTC Beats by Dre headphones but I can assume that uh, this is well, well tuned as well, but uh, it's not something that will replace my uh, regular headphone I've got now, the HTC ones, uh, sorry, the Beats by Dre ones, anytime soon. Uh, also, it's just a USB cable there, inside that there, for just the uh, charging system and transfer of files and that kind of stuff. So first thing I notice about this handset is uh, basically the back of it is nice. It's got this sort of matte finishing, uh, matte back matte black finish on the back. It also comes uh, in different colours I believe but I could be wrong. Um, you got the Beats uh, by Dre logo there, uh, you got the HTC logo there and, it, and then you got your camera there which uh, with flash as well. Uh, if you were to look at how thin this handset is you can actually see the theme profile going on on the edge there and it's got this curved black, sorry curved back area there for it just feels nice when you're holding it in your hand. Uh, if we compare that to the iPhone 5 you can sort of see what they both look like so it's not uh, thinner than the iPhone 5 by the look of things but it feels thinner when you're older than it just because of the way they've uh, curved the back. If you look on the side there you've got your volume rocker you can hardly see it because it's nicely blended in into the into the uh, uh, housing there and also you've got your uh, micro uh, sim card slot like where your sim card goes inside of and then you've got a camera a dedicated camera button there and the bottom you've got your charging port micro USB and at the top you've got your headphone jack uh, and also the power button there. Uh, at the front you got your camera on the left hand side just get the reflection off so you can you can see it better and then you got your speaker grill there going all the way across uh, there and then you got your three uh, capacitive touchscreen buttons at the bottom there your home the back and the search uh, button if I just power this on straight away you can see the home screen nicely nice nice design you get this quality sharp uh, screen display that you've got there and if I just flick that up you can see your tiles, your live tiles and I believe this is the first smartphone with live tiles from Windows which is a good touch on the handset as well. If I just go across you can then see the rest of your applications going up and down, you can see them all there. Uh, if I just go back out you can see your live tiles again which you can, uh, I believe you can change the size. If I just move that you can change to the small which is the Windows Phone 8 uh, operating system which is one of the things that they've added on. You can also remove them if you like. Uh, and add different ones on there as well. And these are live tiles, which means you can you can see them moving and interactive. The, the change if you've got pictures going on there, this talk give you like a slideshow kind of thing going on in in there as well. But all in all, for the for the first look, uh, I really like this device. I like the feel of it, and also I like the live tile system. Windows Phone 8 is awesome. Uh, everything's uh, a lot integrated. Uh, you got your status bar at, uh, at the top there which disappears when it's not needed and you can just drag it back down and to get that uh, to appear. Pressing that, everything's just nice and responsive, it's very fluid, you can see the camera there, nice uh, with focus as well. Uh, if you press that you can see all the sort of uh, options you've got at the bottom area. That gives you the photo settings, your sharing settings and that kind of stuff and you can share directly from here to things like your Facebook. Everything's nicely uh, integrated with all the social media and all the share share platform that you can ever think of and you, everything just flows smoothly really. It's also very powerful. This packs a 4.3 inch Super LCD 2 display with 720p full HD screen. You've also got 16 gig storage in there with a nice 1 gig RAM so it's going to be nice and quick uh, really fast with their Qualcomm uh, S S4 dual core processor in there. Very awesome good touch and the camera on there is an 8 megapixel camera with f2.0 lens autofocus as well with LED flash as you can see on the back there. It's also got NFC which is great uh, and we're going to see a lot of integration with NFC in the coming months maybe uh, in next year we're going to see more of that going on. Typing on this device is also awesome, it's nice and responsive, there's no need to uh, keep tapping the keypad over and over, although I still prefer the uh, 
the keyboard on the Galaxy S3 in terms of uh, swipe key that you can download. Uh, it's way quicker when typing with that, but this is not so bad. This is not too bad either. Uh, and we can see here, loading up web, web sites on, on this HTC device here, the Windows Phone AX loads very quickly as well. Everything's so quick, you can actually see that load up uh, rapidly there, even though my page is full of, uh, my website's full of images and stuff, that things that might take uh, a while to load up. Even the background images, everything, the background, background advertisement uh, loads up very quick. Uh, the slideshow, everything, you can see it there. Nice and brilliant. Also, the pinch to zoom, uh, it's there as well. Let's just see what that looks like. Uh, landscape mode as well, nice and big, uh, nice and easy to use. It feels nice to just hold in the hand and just browse the, the curved front facing uh, glass there. It's also awesome for just different viewing angles, uh, which is great. Uh, but yeah, that's the first look at this device. I'm going to have from playing with this to get some sort of review to you guys. Let me know what you think of this video. Leave a, leave a comment below if you haven't hit the like button. Make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe as well. And thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.